What's up everybody, it's your man J. Phil, and today we're gonna to use something like a SP404 or a PO33 into an iPhone for $4. Let's get into it. <laughs> what up everybody in the comments below, shout out your favorite app to use for making beats if you do that. Right now we are checking out my new favorite one. I have to say, shout out to Elf Audio. This is the Koala Sampler. It's been out for a while and it is out for your iPhones or your Androids, man. So we're gonna get into it. This is crazy. To me, this is just a version of, or a digital version of a PO33 slash SP404, in my opinion. This is crazy, man. So it has three sections, sample, sequence, perform. I don't wanna get too technical right now unless people wanna learn something specific. Let me know in the comments below, but I'm just gonna make a simple beat and show you what you can do with this thing. So it has a mic, and if I wanted to record from my voice, it could. Let's say I wanted to do a hi-hat. I would hold down a pad and just go with my mouth, and now I have just that simple crazy right let's say i wanted to add a um a snare with my mouth just to do something like i just did that with my mouth just do it <laughs> you know what i'm saying um and then uh, also like say you got sounds on your own you can just go ahead and import uh let's see import audio maybe you go to your cloud or whatever device you have say i want to get a kick boom Boom, I got that. So now I got, right, crazy. Then you can edit all these sounds, man. This is bananas. Um, Let's say that's too loud. You can change the volume or whatever. Change the pitch. Crazy, all right? And then also, let's go to the edit page so you, so you guys can see. This is crazy. I can hit one shot so it plays all the way through. Boom. Turn it off, then it's like gating. You know what I'm saying? So I want that to be one shot. Or I could put it in reverse. Ugh. Or loop it. What else can we do? Change the tune of it. Boom. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Change the attack. Or just take my finger and, you know, kind of crop it some. Boom. Attack. If I wanted to. You get the idea. You can do choke groups as well, which is crazy. We'll get to that in a second. But here's another part I want to check. I, I want you guys to see. I can import videos, man. The audio from a video. So I'm going to pull up a video that I have on my phone, right? import video and you can get videos on your phone that means you can go to youtube and just do like a screen record and just go crazy so that's exactly what i did this is a video that i have from youtube and actually it's one of my own youtube videos which was uh me kind of promoting one of my sound kits and i can choose this right and it's going to turn that video into audio and insert it into this Crazy, right? Boom. Uh, crazy, man. Now, let's say I want to copy this. All I have to do is hold on to it and drag it. Boom. Now I got... Is that not bananas? Come on, man. Right off the bat, I know I'm going to change the... Uh, let's kind of edit this. You can stretch it, see how close you can get. Crazy, right? If you want to get more precise, it might be a struggle if you got fat fingers, you know. <laughs> Let's also uh, edit this one. Right? Then you can even change the key if you want to and all that good stuff with pitch. So it's very, very simple, man. Let's talk about this too. Sample, let me get out of this. This is very cool. You have effects. So I can actually resample effects, man. Let's say I wanted to um, throw like a bass note in here. I would go to this mic. Whoop, headphone monitor, turn that, turn that off. <laughs> that was feedback. 
I can go to this mic and hit the resample from the app. Okay, so that means whatever sound I use, like with my voice, I can use one of these effects. And I'm gonna use this bottom one right here, so this is bass synth. So I'll go ahead, let's do this. Resample from mic, watch this. <laughs> right? So now I wanna go to effects and I wanna resample that. This is what it sounds like with these effects. Uh, you can't hear it because you can't you can't do post editing for that for the effects. That's one thing you can't do. But here's the workaround. Let's watch this. Go ahead and resample. Hit mic, resample. See that? Now it's on that effects. Different effects. Oh, so let's go back to this one. So I'll use that, and then as I'm pressing this pad, I'm going to hold down another pad that's empty and resample it. So now, get rid of this, get rid of that. That's the resample with the effect. Here's the original. Oh, crazy, right? Now let's go to the sequence page. I can make a beat, man. You could tap, you got your swing, you got your quantize. I'm turning quantize off, you know how we do. <laughs> uh, let me see, let's tap, I don't know. Let's try that, turn the metronome on, see what that sounds like, right? And then just go for it. Let's practice, CC. Maybe I could do something like that. <laughs> I should have had a choke group. You got to have a choke group going. So let's undo. That way they cut off each other. So let's go back, sample, edit. Choke group. I want them to be on the same choke group. See, they cut off. See what I'm saying? Okay, so now let's go back. Sequence. Okay, that feels good. That feels good. So now we could go ahead and uh, add some. But let's say you like that pattern and you want to keep it without the drums. You could go ahead and copy that pattern by hitting it, drag it, put it there. So now I got this. It's the same pattern. So let's just let's do this. Something like this. My bootleg hi hat, but I think that's too loud. So we can go ahead and do this. You know what I want to do? I'm gonna drag that, copy it, and then change the attack. All right. All right. Now let's go back to this. Where is it? <laughs> this right here, you got the keyboard mode. This is crazy. Boom. Choose whatever sample you want to put into the keyboard mode. This is one because there's my bootleg bass. Now you got this. Crazy. And then you got different scales, man. Pentatonic, minor, whole tone diminished. All this crazy. So let's go uh, chromatic. <laughs> now, last thing, 
you have performance mode, which means I can use these effects like stutter, gate, all this as if I was on the SP. Check it out. And the crazy thing about this is I can like change the different sequences and it still it doesn't it just continues it continues the sequence without starting from the top which makes the continuity incredible. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Check it out. So I can make it continue. See? Say I wanted to hold one of the effects. I can do that. Let's say I like the compressor. I can just hold, hit hold and have compressor on. So there you go, man. It's a lot more that you can do with this, but I just wanted to show you uh, my, like my first impression. Thumbs up. This is crazy. Four dollars? Are you serious? I would cop this. This is bananas. <laughs> it's your man, Jay Field. I'm sending peace and positive energy. Yeah. like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos on the way please check out all the links down below this video follow your man on twitch.tv where you can find me making beats from scratch all the way through no editing and all that good stuff i will see you guys on the next one i'm sending peace and positive energy.